They wanna blame it on the edit. Blame it on the edit. She wanna blame it on the edit. Blame it on the edit. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Nellyville Reviews Drag Race, the bootleg pit stop. And guys, we are at the final four, and I, I'm not mad about it. Now, Rue said that there was going to be a final three, but we have a final four. Also, by the way, it's storming. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, post notification bell. Also, it's storming. Not sure what that has to do with you guys, but hey, here we are. What do you guys feel about this final four? We we're, we still have Anitra, Lux, Mistress, and Sasha. So the girls had to do a blame it on the edit music video, RuPaul song, and it, it turned out it turned out really good. I think overall the final product this was one of the best music videos and and uh, RuPaul remixes that has ever been created. My favorite RuPaul remix was the one where it had uh, Alaska, Katia, and Detox, and Roxy Andrews. That that was that was a good one. That was a uh, I'm the one. This blame it on the edit is right up there, if not better. So the girls had to write their own verse, and um, Lux finished his verse and felt like he did so well that he went on and took a little nap. Now normally, you know, find you something to do, but um, apparently after, after ooh, y'all, y'all hear that? And you could always be doing more. You could always be working on a garment. You could always be fixing your wig. You could be perfecting your verse, but seeing how the final product turned out, baby, that nap was well deserved, honey. But aside from the music video, they also got to do the Tic Tac, the, the infamous, the famous Tic Tac lunch slash podcast type of interview with RuPaul and Michelle Visage. I enjoyed everyone's interview. I think the one that I enjoyed the most, I think, I, I'm going to be so honest with y'all, Lux is my winner. I, I, I know all, I've, all season I've been like, Lux or Mistress, after this, Lux is my winner winner and the way RuPaul was just so mesmerized so in love with Lux even if Lux doesn't win that's that's going to be one of Ru's favorites I mean you could just tell you can always tell who, who Ru you can always tell Sasha went first with the interviews she had a really uh you know a really deep story she said some things about her father and um and i, I encourage y'all to, to watch the episode i really like sasha i do i just i think she's a great drag queen sasha is it's not an argument she is a great drag queen with that being said i just don't think she is a great rude girl Mistress is a great drag queen and also a great rule girl. She makes for good TV. Uh, and it's not just because she's like fun, messy, or, or conniving, or a jokester, or whatever. Sasha is just a little too polished, a little too a uh, pageant. And I feel like, um, I feel like if I met Sasha in person, I feel like she would be a little more relaxed. I feel like um, she would be a really kiki, and I feel like if she would let a little bit more of that vulnerability show, then I would pick her as the winner, but I think that she's so scared of the pressure that she's just in full pageant mode, and I'm sorry that that just, just doesn't speak to me. And speaking of, uh, you know, being too perfect or whatever, a lot of people feel like Lux is too confident. I don't get that. Everybody's like, oh, Lux is delusional. Lux think his shit don't stink and da 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 bippity boppity boo I think that this is a confident person. I think that we live in a world where we are so used to people being self-deprecating, being uh, insecure. We're so used to people um, being shy, being scared, being uh, beaten up and having to find their confidence that we, uh, it is perceived to be arrogant when a person is just confident. Lux comes from parents who have always supported his uh, his lifestyle and being gay. Parents who always who spoke confidence and positivity over him. So he is the product of a child who grew up in a loving, supportive environment. I don't think that is arrogance. 
it's love. It comes from support. And I, and I think a lot of people are jealous. And, and just to segue off the show, we're going to get back to the show. You know, I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the, of the elders, the el rural elders, uh, ganging up on Lux. Look, at the end of the day, maybe I'm biased and Lux is a little arrogant. Whatever, okay? What, what 21, what is Lux, like 20, 21? What kid that age is not a little bit cocky or conceited or whatever you want to call it? Um, these older queens... Like, y'all been there before, y'all are queens, y'all been 20, but like, also, y'all too old to be picking with this child. Like, it's it's giving jealous, and particularly, who am I talking about? I'm talking about Trinity, the top Taylor. Trinity, the one who won with Monet Exchange on All Stars, what was that, All Stars 4? Trinity, why are you arguing with me? I just, I don't understand. Regardless if Lux was right or wrong, Trinity, go sit down somewhere. Because it's giving jealous, it's giving racist, it's, gi it's giving bitter boots. And, and that's just how I feel about it. I'm sorry, Trinity, I love your drag. Like, you're great or whatever, but you, sometimes, baby, you, you be doing too much. And you arguing with this child for whatever one reason, baby, it's really not cute. And I'm sorry I went off on my brain. I just had to say what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the verse writing and everything went well. So then it was time for the girls to rehearse. Of course, Sasha was going to pick up on choreography well. Lux picked up on the choreography well. And Nitra and Mistress struggled. And Mistress, uh, I hate to say it, but Mistress got defeated. Mistress let her fear of the choreography and being behind the other girls. I mean, she was, she was, it wasn't looking good. And in the close ups on the video, Mistress brought, brought it and she, she did what she needed to do, but it was giving dare in the headlights. So after the girls finished rehearsing, they immediately had to film the music video. They didn't have a day to sit on it. They didn't even have a few hours. They learned the, they learned the moves and then they immediately filmed this music video. Like that's, that's, that's a different type of pressure. But I don't know. I think for me, I think I would rather it be that way because it's fresh in my mind. I think that it could be a good thing, but I think it depends on how your brain works. Like some people need a, a day to process to let it sink in. For me, I'm like, I've learned it, I know it, let's do it while I'm just a bippity boppity boop. But I don't know why it was such a big uh, surprise that they had to do that because they showed up to the rehearsal in full drag. Like you had to know that uh, World of Wonder or RuPaul is not gonna make you get in full drag just to rehearse. Like it should have been common sense that they're probably gonna make y'all film the video that day. And the video was really cute because it was like a play on, y'all remember the Scream video with Michael Jackson and Janet? It was a play on that and it, it looked really, really good. It looked really good. So let's talk about the verses and then we will take a look at the looks of the night. Of course, my favorite was Lux. Man, Lux came in singing. I forgot Lux. I don't know why I forgot Lux to sing. Man, Lux came in with those harmonies. I was like, yes, Gaga, baby, you won. Anitra's verse, Anitra started out the song and it was weak. It was so weak. And I wish somebody else could have gone first, but I think that the order that they went in, I think it was the only way that it could go. It was, it was okay. Like the more I listened to it, it grew on me, but it just, it wasn't there. Sasha, oh, I loved her verse. Sasha and Lux, yes, they gave. They gave. I love the way Sasha's tone, uh, the lyrics were good. Like, she was good, okay? And then Mistress closed out the song. And Mistress was real, it was good. Mistress' verse sounded exactly what I was expecting from Mistress. It was good. Let's take a look at the look. So, Anitra's looks, um... I'm only seeing one look from the dance part, but they actually wore two looks in the music video, so I'm just gonna go off the ones that we have right here in front of us, and if you wanna see the other look, then maybe you gotta go look it up, you know what I'm talking about? I like the two of these looks. Um, her runway look, I love that hair. I don't I don't know how I feel about the dress, the garment itself, but I, I'm just not crazy about that color, personally. But it, it's it's nice, it, it's give, it gives a final, you know, feel to it, but man, that hair is really nice. And then the red, the red is it's cute, it's it's cool. Lux, I liked both of Lux's looks from the music video. 
Um, I wasn't crazy about the wigs um, from both the runway and this one here from the music video. The other wig that she had in the music video was like this blonde situation. That was cute. But this one, it just, I don't know. It, it, it was like almost there, but something was off. And then the wig that she has on with this white dress hair, I like that wig. But it was something about the way she had it sitting. It just needed to be adjusted. The wig itself is all that. But it needed to be adjusted on the head. It was just something about it was a little off. And I like that it was a, a, a white gown. It was something she did a reference because a designer always, some designer she said, I can't remember who it was, um, always closes the show with a wedding dress. And so she wanted to do like that situation. So I'm like, okay, work. It's, it's giving Shay Coulee. It's cute. It, it's cute. I like it. Mistress. Mish, mistress look. Like her two looks in the video and the runway look was all that. This beaded uh, cheetah looking number for the runway. Damn. Now somebody said that the makeup didn't really go. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I can see it with a diff with different makeup, but also I don't mind this makeup either. And then we have Sasha. Sasha's, uh, y'all really know, need to go look up that little alien look that Sasha did. But to me, that alien look that Sasha did in the video was very reminiscent of what she wore um, when, uh, when she first walked into the workroom on the episode one. So I don't know. I mean, it was nice. This is nice, uh, this other, this black look that she has on for the music video. That is actually a reference to uh, Pam Anderson. And I like the look, the makeup. It's something about, I don't, I can't, something about Sasha's makeup. Like sometimes I'm like really here for it. And then other times I'm like, girl, what were you doing? Now the runway look is nice. But I don't like that fabric. I love I love the garment itself, but that I don't like that fabric. And her makeup on the runway looks good. Her, I like that makeup on Sasha. It's, it's very nice. Uh, the body is right, of course. Um, the makeup is right. The hair is right. I like the the headpiece. But it's something about that garment. I don't know. I don't know about that. So, so the two in the bottom. It was it was pretty obvious. It was Mistress and Anitra. Before they did the runway, they had the four girls do the, the talk to the pictures. Y'all know how they do. They say, what if you could say something to your four-year-old you, three-year-old you, what would you say? That type of situation. And once again, Lux's speech was my favorite. So we go to the final lip sync with uh, Mistress, who could barely move in that heavy, heavy beaded 60 pound gown. And then Anitra had a, a, a tearaway moment where she was able to split that blue outfit into two and it would turn into like more like a leotard thing. I don't know why the final lip sync was to that song. The song that they lip synced to was When Love Takes Over by David Guetta. Which, you, you remember, Kelly Rowland sung it, but I, I just, I mean, it had potential, but the outfits were restricted. I don't know, I just feel like it should have been a different song, but anyways. So, needless to say, Mama Rue ended up not making it a final three and kept it a final four. And I think this is one of the strongest final fours we have had that we've seen in Drag Race. So I'm very excited about it. Next week is the reunion. And I've heard that it is very juicy. And uh, of course the fans have been stirring the pot the way that they do. After that will be the finale. Leave in the comment section down below who you want the next winner to be or who you think is gonna win. I think that they're gonna give it to, to Sasha, but I, I would really like for Lux to get it because I, I feel like Lux it capsules everything and um oh man I, i'm just i'm just i'm very team lux i i i, I would have still said mistress but she she buckled so much under the pressure with the choreography that i'm just like come on now like i get it though i mean it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of stress and then especially when you got these other three strong you know competitors around you you know what I'm saying? But I just, I, I wanted Mistress to, to, to hold it together a little bit more. But 
Lux didn't crack. Lux had time to take a nap. She sung and rapped her verse. Her looks were strong. Um, I mean, the facts are facts, America. Anyways, that's all that I have for you today. Please subscribe, thumbs up, post notifications, all that, blah, 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 blah. Share the little video on it. And, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all after this juicy reunion because you know it's going to be juicy. Again, okay, that's all